But this car could be systematic, hydromatic, ultramatic. Why could be grease lightning? Hi, my name is Lauren Lynn, and for my MAA 52 project, I built a 1946 Ford Coupe inspired by the car Grease Lightning. The construction and assembly of this car took me over 50 hours. The body of my car is made of 118 surface bodies, 10 unique solid bodies, and 8 moving parts. I created the surface bodies with projected curves, 3D sketches, boundary surfaces, and surface fills. My solid bodies consist of a tire, rim, and a front and rear bumper, which were made with extruded bases and cuts, revolved surfaces, and fillets. The moving parts are the four doors and tires. During assembly, I mated these parts with axes made from 3D sketches in order to allow them to rotate and revolve. The hardest part of my project was the curvatures of the car's body. Many curves were not defined clearly on the 2D blueprints, so I utilized reference photos to get a better visual. In the end, it was a lot of trial and error with using 3D sketches to get the curves just right. For my simulation, I applied a force of 100 pounds to the galvanized steel front door to simulate a collision. The results revealed a max stress of about 19,000 psi, which is under the yield strength. The max displacement was 0.4185 inches. I had a lot of fun adding the unique details. I utilized a split line tool to add the lightning bolts onto the curves of the car. I also added a license plate made from extruded bases and fillets and included my name to add a personal touch. On my tire, I placed the Ford logo with the decal tool. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this video.